Hello all, Shedwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Cannibal Ferox from 1981. It's directed by Umberto Lenzi and stars Giovanni Lombardo Radice and Lorraine Dessel. Okay, so we all know what cannibal means, or at least I certainly hope y'all do, but what the fuck is a ferox? Well, it just so happens I looked up that word and it means wild, ferocious, or cruel. So basically the title is describing the outlook on human cannibalism from an academic vantage point. I can't totally say that this is a copycat version of more notorious film Cannibal Holocaust because it does have an interesting premise it is built upon. It's about three friends traveling into the Amazon jungle to find a reportedly cannibal tribe and prove they're not cannibals and thus disprove that cannibalism ever existed. This is where the title comes into play. The one woman, Gloria, is doing her PhD paper on disproving cannibal ferox and furthermore saying that it was always a smear campaign on the part of evil colonialism that was told to justify colonialism. That alone is pretty cool right there, but after that bit of exposition in the early goings of Cannibal Ferox, this film is just a wannabe cannibal holocaust, which we'll be talking more about in depth tomorrow by the way. A group of people in the Amazon jungle beset upon by a cannibal tribe who are attacked and eaten by the end, minus Gloria of course who, interestingly enough, holds to the lie that there was no cannibalism at play so she could publish her book. Also, this wouldn't be a good cannibal holocaust ripoff if we didn't have forced scrotal removal, and of course some reprehensible actual acts of animal cruelty. A boar is murdered on camera, a monkey loses a fight with a leopard, and there is a heartbreaking scene of a cuddly platypus-like creature being crushed to death by a python and the camera gleefully pushes in to catch the poor thing crying out as the python's squeeze grows tighter. I actually pressed the fast forward button on that one so I missed maybe a minute of the film, but it's alright, I got the gist of what Cannibal Ferox is. It's Cannibal Holocaust without the art factor, right? I own this because there used to be a time in my 20s when I lived for this kind of shit, but obviously 20 something years of life have changed something in my head because other than the interesting premise, I couldn't stand this movie. But hey, at least it has the right idea that colonialism is the fucking devil. Other than that, this film is well done, but at what price? Well, if you believe in this sort of thing, I guess it's the price of your very soul. Wahaha. <laughs> I'm gonna give Cannibal Ferox a D, and tomorrow it's the movie that this one wanted to be, Cannibal Holocaust. See y'all then.